Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so I, um, I've decided that we need a ion-powered, um, station. Um, well, not ion-powered, but I need a station that ha has ion fuel. Um, mostly because, uh, my interplanetary vehicles, uh, they have... Uh, a lot of ion fuel, and I have no other idea or way of getting just an intense amount of RCS fuel into orbit, and I don't want to do it just once, so I would rather have a stockpile somewhere around, and I, I, I don't want to have one station dedicated towards everything because of the fact that the ion fuel tanks at the moment are just intensely small. So I've decided I'm launching a whole separate station. Um, I'm hoping that at some point, uh, you know, in the next few updates, they eventually release a very large ion tank. But, um, you know, whatever happens, happens. So. This is the best design I've come up with. Uh, I tried a few different things, and uh, overall this one works out pretty well. Um, mind you, if I sound a little different, uh, yeah, just kind of woke up a, not too long ago, and, you know, doing this stuff in the morning is always so fun to me. Uh, always so many opportunities for bad things to happen. Uh, yeah, sorry about not having a video for the last couple days, too, yeah. Uh, that kinda does suck. Um, I've been really, really busy with a few things, and, uh, I didn't expect that, um, you know, yesterday there was a few things that were just kinda unforeseen, and because of that, uh, I wasn't able to do anything as far as, like, making a video. Uh, I planned on it, but... By the time uh, I got home and everything else, which I'd rather not talk about, but basically by the time I got home, I uh, it was somewhere around like 11:30 at night, and because of that, it just didn't work out so well. So I'm sorry about that. I planned on having one for you guys yesterday. It would have been this. So explosions. Yes, so, um, to all you new people, welcome, uh, it really is amazing, I, at least for me, uh, you know, I, I, ch I still check my email and everything else, and right now I don't have my email set up to where, um, if I get new subscribers, it will delete them, or, uh, well, it won't show up, so, every time I get a new subscriber or a comment, it always shows up in my email, and... It always makes me a little happy when I see stuff like that. So, uh, you know, I, I thought that over the last couple days, my videos or my channel was going to lose all my subscribers and everyone was going to be like, Yo, Goose, what's going on? Did you fall off the face of the planet or something? Yes. Uh, well, sort of, for a few days. Didn't tr mean to, but um, I'm really hoping that I don't have any more pauses for a little while um you know i do like to take at least like one day during the week and just not upload anything wow i almost hit time warp way past here we go um let's get this thing into orbit but yeah so a lot of new people um and uh you know i've been appreciating what i've been getting in the comments um and, uh, oh yeah, one thing I was gonna say too, if you don't like my channel, just don't bother watching or, you know, even posting anything as far as, li like, literally anything on the videos, because, in a sense, you're showing support for my channel. If you don't like my channel, don't, just don't even bother watching the videos, because all you're doing is boosting my view count, so... That's generally all I have to say about that. I did get a couple messages that really weren't uh, the nicest things to read, but whatever. But that's enough about that. Um, 
another message I've gotten uh, from, I believe his name is David Holmes. Forgive me if I'm wrong, sir. Um, yeah, you told me he had cancer, uh, throat cancer, or something along those lines. Um, I'm really sorry to hear that, and, you know, um, I wish I could do more. I mean, I if I could, I would say I would give you some money or something, man. Um, I really feel bad about that, um, you know, I... I you're you're in my prayers and stuff, so you know I'm, I hope you end up feeling well and everything. You know everything as far as your life gets goes back to normal eventually. Um, yeah, dude, there's I, I, cancer is a scary thing, man. So uh, you know I I don't really know what to tell you, but um, you know I just hope you feel better and I hope everything you you, you know your life returns to normal as soon as possible. Um, but anyways I don't want to depress everyone or Mr. David but I, I, I would just like to tell you that I really do hope you feel better soon and everything gets better but uh, yeah so I don't want to get you too gloomy um, so yeah I've decided that this ion station is going to be its own separate station only because of the fact of the sheer number of parts involved in building this thing um it really really is just intense um just off the launch pad it's like 400 plus parts so this thing definitely definitely just needs to be on its own someplace and I planned on getting it into a very far off orbit. Also, somebody commented too when I decouple, I should uh, lower my engine speed. And uh, yeah, I do agree, but I always forget for some reason. That's just just stupidness, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, no, I, I just wanted this thing to be a very far out orbit. Only because it's just such a, you know, um, such a high part count, and if I made a station, or if I put this on the, the moon fuel depot or something, it would probably just suck away all the life from the moon fuel depot. But I plan on putting it into an orbit out here, kind of in this orbit, it just seems like it'd be a better off decision to put it out there compared to leaving it, you know, um, in Kerbin orbit or even in orbit around the moon. There's just so much stuff in orbit around the moon. I would rather not even put anything in out around the moon. So, so you can see, I mean, we're doing all right on fuel. I did do a test flight with this, um, a very brief test flight. It wasn't anything like, um, I usually just do a flight and I just fly straight out um, from the launch pad just to test the staging and to test if the G-forces itself, you know, acting upon this ship are in any way going to destroy it. And that's pretty much all I test for. Um, anything, you know, other than that, it's not too much of a worry. I mean, I will do another... One of the good things I usually do, and this is, you know, what I, that, that right there is one thing I usually recommend doing, that anybody who builds, like, anything in this game, at least test that, and, um, they also test that they have enough fuel, which is an obvious one, but testing your design is one of the major things, it's just making sure that, you know, when you take off, that every piece of your, uh, station, it will stay all in place and the other one is just testing for functionality to make sure that this thing will do everything that you need it to do and and some and when I say and some you always want to have like some kind of a backup of something you know to have extra docking ports and to have extra everything 
Now, I'm not too concerned about matching this up. I know that I did the burn a lot earlier than I should have. But, once again, not concerned about making sure that that's perfect. I just want to get out to this point. That's all my concern really is at this point. And I just want to set up my orbit. So, it's going to sit somewhere in between the moon and Minmus. That's kind of what I planned for in my design. So, it, I actually, my design really did call for it to be past Minmus, but I think Fuel isn't going to permit me to get any further than what I already am at. So, that, and that's fine with me. I'm, I'm perfectly okay with that. Um, I could have probably put a, uh, what is it, not the Ion Engine, the, uh, Oh, I could have slapped about 30 ion engines on this thing, but uh, no, I could have put the uh, nuclear engine on this just to get myself a little bit further out, but eh, I'm not, not so concerned. So I'm going to leave it right here, and I'm not so concerned with RCS as well. I mean, this station has its own RCS. Um, it has just one tank. I wasn't too concerned about having a lot of RCS on this, so I can always refuel it, so that's the main thing, and I can always add on to it, so that's even better, so. Just put myself on the pro grade, but, uh, what else has been going on? Oh yeah, the new YouTube layout, too. I, I think it really sucks. Um... I really wasn't happy about uh, the fact that they changed it and you know not a lot of people want it no not a lot of people wanted it like they've been trying to push this new layout for I think somewhere around two or three months and it's just uh, nobody that um, you know the bigger guys if any of you guys watch you know I, obviously a lot of you guys watch your cast and stuff but you know it's like they change to it for like a day and then they change their whole design all the way back so it just goes to show you I mean like nobody likes the new layout and I don't understand why YouTube was pushing so hard for everyone to change towards it when um, almost nobody wanted it in the first place so it uh, I don't know Sometimes things just baffle me with uh, Google and the way they do things just because of, you know, the fact that nobody wanted it in the first place. So, like, what's the point of doing it? You know, nobody, I don't think I knew of one person that actually called and said, you know, like, oh, well, we should have a new layout because the layout that I've been using for the last couple of years, I'm just not satisfied with it. Like, I've never heard anybody actually say that before. So, I don't understand that at all. But, you know, that's the way things are. I guess everything has to change eventually. All things must conclude as well. So, yeah, new design, new layout, whatever. I mean, it kind of, uh, I don't really like it, like I said. I'm sure, um, Angry Video Game Nerd would have a lot better, uh, things to say, so. But, yeah, no, it's just not. Uh, it looks a little poopy to me. Alright, it looks like we're getting close. I don't want to set up this orbit too much because I gotta do the I gotta set up the inclination well fix it I should say but this is looking pretty good to me I mean it almost looks like we got our own solar system going on here this is like amazing you know I got freaking the deep space comm satellite and we got Minmus and then there's gonna be the ion station the jewel carrier which isn't always gonna be there you'll have the moon and then all these satellites and everything else so I'm gonna set up the maneuver and uh, I think we're gonna have to go that way yeah yeah just bring that up a little bit further now I usually align to the moon because it's pretty much on like the most perfect orbit so um, you know I I didn't do that the last time and I just kind of 
you know, whenever I read tips and stuff like this, or stuff on the game, um, usually I end up finding out something new and I, that I never thought of before that was a great idea. Now, this guy was basically stating that if you are going to land on the moon, or, well, I should say, if you're going to put a station in orbit, the best thing to do is to set the moon as your target, and then set up the with the inclination, make sure that the inclination is, like, dead on with the moon, because then it's, like, basically in the most perfect orbit you can get. And, you know, there's little chance of, um, you know, like when you go into the moon, let's say, uh, you're basically, you don't have to do any, you don't have to set up anything with the inclination at all. And this thing keeps on jumping past. A little weird. But I'll use my cheats. There we go. Cheat time activated. Now, um, I don't know if a lot of you guys have noticed, but Duncan, I believe, from the Yonks cast, is now playing this game. Uh, a little weird, he's playing it so late. Um, you know, I've always known that Yonks cast, they just kind of play everything, so... You know, I think... Actually, yes, it was. It was uh, Sips, was the person who got me into this game. He's the one who actually got me to buy it. I uh, I was basically sold after his little evening with sips, and uh, you know I, I've been you know amazingly happy with this game. Obviously, uh, no no he sold me on this game though. That's the after I saw him play, I, I've always loved space and I've always questioned why they don't have any kind of space games out there that are really you know like. Being able to do stuff like this. This was like my main thing. I, I never understood why they didn't have a space game where you could build stuff. And uh, yeah, so my I guess somebody out there heard my prayers and they were totally down with building something like that. Now the Jewel Carrier, this thing was launched mostly because of the Jewel Carrier itself. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that, but the Jewel Carrier had, does have ion storage. And I'm looking at topping it off before it leaves. And yeah, that does not sound right. Now I gotta bump this thing over a little bit without screwing up the inclination. Oh great, I, I oh no I didn't. There we go. It's always the hardest thing, and I, I guess this is what, you know, having mech jab and stuff like that is for. Um, you know, getting something into an orbit and getting into, like, somewhat of a perfect orbit without any kind of help whatsoever other than just looking at everything, um, is kind of a pain. It, it really is. I, I have not been able to, I've never put anything in, like, a geosynchronous orbit or anything along those lines just because it's so hard to do without any kind of control whatsoever it's just an absolute pain so this is 360 I'm gonna try to get a little bit closer because every time it gets this close everything starts getting all crazy um, this thing starts shaking like crazy it just everything gets like it's like it gets it becomes like a freaking craze schizophrenic or something I don't even know it's just insane and sometimes what will happen too is this whole node will start moving by itself I don't know why it does that um I've really tried to figure out how and why but I have not been able to figure out basically anything uh, maybe we'll see it do that um before But this is getting really close. I, I'm actually kind of okay with the way it is right now. So. You know, to me, I'm okay with the orbits being a little bit off. The, uh, 
aproapsis and periapsis. Uh, I'm okay with them being just a little bit off. It, really, I'm not that nitpicky where some people want it perfect. So, I, I, I'll just try my best to see what I can get. I know if I bring this down that it will stop pushing it, but um, I don't want to use RCS and start screwing up the uh, inclination right now. If I had an ion engine, everything would probably be a little bit more peachy. If I bring this down a little bit further, like right over here, it looks like I got a little bit of play. This thing isn't isn't very responsive right now, so I'm going to have to bring it down like right here. And I'll do one more little burn, and then we're going to say goodbye to our, um, it, our engine. Try to get this as close as possible. Do one more puff of, a, like, a fart of a uh, burn. You don't even hear the engine turning on. Wow. 661. And that's good enough for me, honestly, right there. I, I'm not... Yeah, well, actually, yeah, whatever. That, that's good. The reason is, too, is because um, once I decouple this, too, it's going to throw it off a little bit, but... I'm going to transfer out this fuel because we did use a little bit of it. So, um, the docking ports that I have now on this side, all these docking ports are used for, you know, whatever we dock up anything. And these smaller docking ports on the side here, um, there's four of these. I will be bringing fuel out to this station eventually. Um, I don't know if I might do that in the next couple episodes or, you know, if 10 episodes from now or something, but I plan on putting fuel on this. I just haven't decided yet, uh, what size tanks I'm going to use and, uh, a few other things. Uh, the main problem is, is I want to keep the part count down. So it's going to have to be like a two or three, p um, part fuel tank. So it's going to be basically just like, um you know, a docking port and uh, basically a tank and that's it. So it'll be, you know, six parts total or eight parts, I mean, because there's four of these. Let's see what happened. It's at 25661 by 25657. It's not bad. Not bad at all. This shouldn't change very much at all. That That's a good thing. We have our fuel, and I'm not going to use RCS to move this thing around, at least for right now. So I'm going to let this thing just float away. It's in a pretty stable orbit, that's all they do, I have to say. Um, I'll just have to always remember that it's at 25,000 kilometers, roughly. So, all right, let's, um, I just want to get this thing pointed up and that will be the end of it. I can't even see Kerbin. I probably can see it and I'm just like an idiot right now. And I'm just like, oh, I can't see it. It's not even there. Every, oh, there it is. Yeah, obviously. I want to get this thing uh, pointed more in a direction where it's kind of always pointed towards Kerbin, I guess. Um, and I'm going the wrong way. I right, stop there. I want it to be sitting kind of straight up. And there's the moon right there. I wonder where Minmus is. I wonder if we can see Minmus. It's probably somewhat close. Uh, yeah, it's way out there. It should be somewhere over in this direction, kind of. I don't see it. It's too small. And that's what she said. Now, let's see. Where's the moon? Alright, so, wait. No, if the moon's over here, that means Minmus is over here. Yeah, I don't see it. I'm sure somebody's gonna be like, dude, are you like freaking blind? I can see it. Let 
Now this camera angle needs to be reset too. I don't know. This is getting a little wonky because I can't go. I can't go up. There we go. Uh, I think this is pretty good. I mean, I'm not like once again, guys. I'm not very nitpicky. Uh, I know there's a lot of people out there that they think it should be done a certain way or whatever. I just I don't care. You know, oh god, it's starting to tilt on its side. There we go. Um, now I should be able to. Or will this be upside down? That's a good question. I think this is upside down. It's space. There's no way. There's no upside down. Everything is perfectly fine. I'll just flip it around one more time. But now I'm just going to kind of cover everything real quick. I did not put a big electrical storage on this thing um, compared to my other stations. Uh, mostly because it really doesn't need it. Uh, it's so far away from Kerbin and any celestial body, I mean, maybe it will be a little close to the moon, but it, it's so far away that you, it's not going to hit the dark side of anything and be stuck behind it for just intense amounts of time. So, And that also goes along with uh, you know, the RCS storage. I just didn't want to put a lot of stuff on this because I wasn't sure that it was going to be able to make it uh, all the way into space. So I'm just going to flip this around real quick and that will be the kind of the end of it. Um, I know this wasn't the most exciting launch, but I really wanted to show you guys this. Um, I'm going to be putting a uh, you know a fuel transfer vehicle on here uh, very soon. I do need it. Uh, the Jewel SS Carrier is completely refueled. Um, pretty much, I mean, I, it only needs one more trip uh, with the... Let's see if we can find Midmiss real quick. I, I'm st I, I want to see Midmiss. Now all I need is one more trip from uh, the refueler. And after that, everything should be relatively good. I am just mad that this thing does not look like it's... I'll turn on SAS. Turn this off. And where, where is Minmus? I do not see Minmus. Maybe if I set it to a target, then I'll be able to... Where's my target? Alright, so it should be... I, I don't even know. I, I, I'm lost. Let's see. Usually I try to use the moon as like a guide point. So if the moon is right there, and then Minmus would be somewhere behind me. Yeah, it's right there. Perfect. But yeah, so I next thing will be the transfer vehicle. Um, and then, um, you know, I'm going to do a few more launches of some other stuff. In the next couple days, um, I got a few things planned. I'm going to be adding on to most of the space stations that we have because I feel like um, there's one thing that I saw people create and I really like the design of it and I think it's a really cool thing and I'm going to add it myself to a couple of my stations just because I, you know, it looks awesome. So. Um, the Minmus space station will actually be used once again. Um, I'm actually thinking about changing a few things on the Minmus space station as well. That will be the, um, you know, basic uh, lander that I ended up putting onto it a long time ago. And the lander itself just doesn't really look nice. And it really doesn't work out that well, so... We're going to be changing the lander up, I think. Um, I'm going to make a little bit more of a robust lander that can actually do some stuff. And hopefully that all works out. So anyways, guys, 
thank you for watching if you haven't already subscribe you know do all that good stuff um always leave me comments I, I like reading the comments so and i always like responding back so anyways guys thank you for watching and uh yeah i will see you next time